we'll look at a few tools which are you know very helpful in programming you already encountered GDP in the other video that you might have seen and the assignment but there are many more tools you know even in the compiler GCC itself first let us see what the compiler actually does so this file has to be compiled into an executable right but there are intermediate steps in which the compiler is compiles it to an assembly and this is what we will be studying in this course let us see what the assembly output of this file is so this, this is pretty simple this is just a function which adds two numbers and another function which calls this function right so let us do that now to compile this file we need to pass in the minus s flag minus s flag means that the compilation stops after the compilation to assembly and it outputs the assembly let us see what happens you will see that a file called main.s is created and this is the assembly output now since this is a C++ file the compiler inserts a lot of unreadable stuff in the assembly output and um, C++ files have a lot of overhead now as you can see this is the debug symbols which you might have already known about from the GDB video so this is the debug symbol which actually says which file these functions belong to this function is the foo function which you can see is this one the actual addition is happening somewhere here and the rest is is just overhead of moving things around as you can see this is the bar function this one which simply calls the foo function now here the actual calling of the foo function happens over here this is all assembly assembly instructions right and all of this are debug symbols which help to locate which line corresponds to which assembly instruction and GDB uses this to find out what step corresponds to which line of code right this is one tool another very important tool that you will encounter is valgrind which is which will be used in one of the assignments that you will do now let us see how valgrind works so for example let us look at this this program this program allocates an integer which means you know four bytes and then it allocates another 20 integers which means another 20 bytes and then it allocates a float which means you know four bytes so 28 bytes in total and then it frees only this which which means that it frees four bytes but as you can see 20 by 24 bytes are left unfreed and therefore this leads to a memory leak now this is a simple code and therefore you can easily figure out where the memory leak is but in complex codes it is very very difficult to find that out and a tool called valgrind helps us out in that case now, now this is the um, command so minus minus leak check full actually tells valgrind to do a full check of all leaks and minus minus show leak kinds is equal to all tells valgrind to show the information if you don't pass this it does not give you as much information let us do now um, oh yeah I need to compile this first so to do that I'll do minus G and mem leak uh, mem leak dot cpp and minus o mem leak dot out and then this would work now as you can see it shows exactly what we suspe suspected 24 bytes are in use while exiting which means have not been freed total 28 bytes have been allocated as we had counted and three allocations have been done and only one free has been done and it shows you exactly at which lines which bytes are allocated so as it can it says that at line number five this unfreed allocation happens and line number nine this unfreed allocation happens it even tells you how many bytes are leaked at each position 
this is a very 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 useful tool to ha to have 